Hi, I'm Mark Temperato. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm getting ready to take a cowbell that has been uh, really misused, rusted, and turn it into something beautiful that sounds good as well. I hope you enjoy it. And you can find a lot of cowbells out there and you can transform them. Right? So you can get more cowbell from that. Oh, listen to the rain. How cool is that? I like putting drum sets together. I've been building them for over 40 years. And I do it for a reason. I like different sounds. I like the uniqueness of sounds. I just like sounds. Because it's very powerful when we begin to use them in a proper context. So we're going to show you that. This is my 90 piece uh, practice kit. My uh, 800 and some piece drum set, the Guinness World Record, is over there in cases. So if I ever need it quickly, I can take off with it. So, but I have this so I can keep myself limber. Enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. You can see the cobwebs in there, man. And the rust. Let's see what we can do with this baby. I like the challenge, right? Sometimes you don't have all the money, but you have opportunity. Listen, what we're going to do here is that we're just going to spray a little goof off on here. Let it soak on that LP sticker a while. And even though we're going to use some steel wool and sandpaper, it, we'll start right here. Just soak that real good. That way it'll come off a lot easier. Okay, now what we're going to do, since it's been soaking, I'm going to take a little steel wool and I'm going to start to work this thing. And you see what I'm doing here? Get it right down. This is very rusted, pitted. But it's an expensive cowbell. And with a little care, a little time, this baby's going to sound and look great. Oh, there's something right there. It says uh, LP. There it is, Black Beauty. <clears throat> I'm using 100 grit sandpaper and 150 grit right now. And uh, I really went to it with the 100 and it's working very well. He says, is it really worth this? When I heard it, I had to say yes. Yes. Not every cowboy you hit is equal. They don't sound the same. Sometimes you hit something and you go, you know something? That, that's got a great sound. It's got to have that sound. Picked up a cool little plate, aluminum plate. Listen to this. How great is that? I'm still de dealing with that sticker on here. <clears throat> you know underneath the symbols they have the, the barcodes they stick on there? You buy that symbol, a lot of guys take pictures on it, you see it on the internet. Now, take those stickers off, man. You can get the the goof off heavy duty. Spray some on a cloth, don't go on the symbol. That's a no-no. You want to take it on a cloth, soak it, and just soak it around the sticker, leave it for a few minutes, and that sucker should peel back nicely. And with a cloth, you just give it a nice little cleanup, and it'll look pretty good. I got these 10-inch uh, Zildjian's, and uh, the person before us took the sticker off, but as you can see, it left a nasty glue mark there. Same over here. Okay, we're going to clean these symbols. I have to get my apron on when I'm going to do that, but uh, right now we're going to take the glue off. We're going to clean both sides of these symbols here. Um, the front side, back side, and I know it'll come out really good. But first of all, we're going to take off that glue. We're going to put a little bit of this goof off heavy duty right here. You can use the Pro Strength Goof Off for certain things, but uh, it'll do a job on some symbols, so you've got to really watch it. But we'll just get this here and just give a little start wiping it right over the symbol here. Oh, yeah, it's coming off nicely. And you get a dry part of the cloth. Like that. It's gone. Okay, all clean. Looking good. Looking good. 
Okay, I'm going to tell you a little secret here. As we're cleaning this, I'm getting it pretty clean, but I'm not going to bring it totally to metal everywhere. I don't need to. I'll tell you why. Normally, I would do that, and I would give it a nice, uh, clean it up, give it a nice spray of black first, in and out, or whatever color I want to spray it first. Um, you can undercoat it if you want, but you want very light paint. You want to go heavy. That does change the sound. Okay, so very light. Boom, let it dry. Don't get over ambitious with it. And then what I do is I get some Krylon Glitter Blast. I like this. Uh, this is Starry Night. So it'll give it a nice dark with diamond look to it. But and that, that covers any sort of scratches and gouges and things like that pretty good. Yo, no matter how clean I think they are inside, I always give them a little air spray. Spray it off. And uh, got it pretty dry and pretty clean. Okay, what I did here, instead of um, hanging this, I decided I'm going to hand spray this, hang on to it one, that way I can get the different angles into it as well. Put it on a drumstick. I was looking for a piece, you know, when you got the largest drum set in the world, you got to have a lot of different uh, components and pieces and extras. And I was looking for a special screw and I thought, you know, I'm just going to use the existing wing nut and I'm going to give that a nice spray uh, of sparkle as well. So we're going to start with a nice uh, satin, black satin, or black uh, gloss will do in and out. Let it dry, then I'm going to hit it with a nice Starry Night Glitter Blast. That'll be pretty. It'll look nice. And then I'll get right to a nice uh, Krylon Clear coating. Protect it, you know, harden it up a little bit. Yeah, it's, it may chip off here and there, hitting it, but not as much as you would think. And if so, you can touch it up real easy. Time to spray. Okay, we got a coat of black on there right now. Putting just a little heat on it. Here it is on my set, the nice new Black Beauty with the 35-year-old cowbell underneath I also did, so it'd have like a big brother. <laughs> they sound great together, and they look good. Over here I had a nice red jam block that someone left in the sun forever, and it was like a white red, and I turned that to a nice red sparkle. Here's that Black Beauty we painted, and it's really a beauty now. Let's hear how it sounds. sound to it.